Hello, this is uh, Charles Severance, and uh, I, this is my video on how to use the People Server at the uh, University of Michigan School of Information. It's part of my online course and uh, on campus courses on PHP and MySQL. Now, you don't want to change your password here. You do not want to change your password because it's been preset. And so here we are. And um, so here we are. And like most cPanels, we don't get to run the create database ourselves. We get to manage our MySQL databases. So here I am, and I'm going to make a database, and I'm going to call my database MISC. Now you'll notice that, that my database is not going to be named MISC, it's going to be named CSEV MISC. And so I will create the database. So now I go back. So now I need to uh, create a user. So I'm going to make one called Fred. And I'm going to give Fred a password. This is like a grant, uh, except that you know it's it's all happening here in the um, cPanel user interface. So now I'm going to create the user. That's the password I just created. Okay. And um, now I've got to add the user CSEVFRED to my database. Now, normally I might have multiples, but I've just got one of these things. And so I do that. I add it. And so I'm going to give them all privileges just to make this life as simple as possible. And I'll say make changes. And so now I've got Fred and connected to the database, um, CSEV MISC, Fred, and the, that user is there. So I'm going to go back now, and I'm going to go into phpMyAdmin. Because now we have a database, and I've got CSEV MISC, and I can use the, the SQL to create the table that I want. So there's the SQL that I want to run. So I run, and if I take a look at structure, I see that I have a table called users, and so that's been achieved. Okay. So I've got a tape, I got a database, I've got a table, I've got myself basically started. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in and create. Uh, a single file, a db.php. So I'm going to actually use the shell to log in. I'm going to do ssh people.si.umich.edu. Now I have to be connected on the VPN if I'm not already on a campus network. So I will log in with my uh, Kerberos account and I am now logged in. And it's a command line interface. And if I do an ls, I see the files. And the files are here in public HTML or www. So I can go cd www. And I've got some files here like my howdy. And the db.php file is sitting there. I've already got it. And I've got it set up. It's, the PDO string looks like this. The host is localhost. The port's 3306. The db name is csev underscore misc. And the account is csev underscore fred. That's the one that I created. And that's the password that I created with the with them. So then what I can do is I can run this db.php by going csev.people.si.umich.edu slash db.php. Okay, and so that actually ran var dump that comes out and that opened up the database connection. So let me go ahead and make a mistake now. And you will see what it looks like if there's an error, vidb.php. And so I'm going to change the password to be something wrong. And so now it's going to run this exception code and then print out a message. Okay. So I'll save that. And I'll refresh it. And so you see the error message that I get. So you really won't need to work with this until the error message goes away. And then you got your PDO connection uh, set up 
and away you go. So, so you just work on this until you get it right, and then you can include that DB file throughout the rest of your program, okay?